Hey y'all, so let's see if you're listening. A lot of you are um, irritated. Somebody's very irritating in the energy. Love, guilt, freedom. You may have to free yourself from somebody coming up soon, okay? Because somebody's irritating. Um, can you work through whatever this is? I feel like you could if this person was willing to work. It's like somebody's one-sided. Somebody only thinks about themselves. They don't care about how you feel about something. They're ungrateful. Or this is you, ungrateful. Um, it's like somebody wants you around, but they want to control everything. Somebody's very controlling and manipulative, and this shit is very irritating. Freedom. You got to free yourself where you are about to. Yep. There's a lot of changes here. Friend, my friend. Yep. I feel like only you can trust you. you only, I mean, it's like... Uh, it seems like somebody wants you. They literally do want you there, but it's like... They want to control everything, and you don't you don't like that. So you'll move, you'll you'll leave. You're not gonna let nobody control anything you're doing, especially when there's money involved or something. Like oh yeah, hell no, nah, bro. Because yeah, you got me messed up. Yeah, somebody's in denial. Okay, that you know. Whatever they're doing is they're doing it the wrong way. You are a being of balance. You're a balanced being. <laughs> You're all about what, what makes sense. And somebody is just very one-sided and you don't like it, period. I don't even like this. This is irritating. How could you, how could you want somebody around but then you treating them like a child. You trying to control and manipulate everything. Yeah, don't nobody want to be around no one like that. And this person wants to wonder why they always alone or something. You're alone because you need to be by yourself. If you you need to control everything, then what the hell you need other people for? You know what you're doing, right? You don't need nobody. You just simply don't. I can't stand, I, I, I cannot stand no controlling ass person. I just really, I cannot stand it. Somebody wants you to bow down to their rules or bow down to them or something as if you can't fucking go somewhere else. This, this person is way in over their head. Yeah, they're gonna always lose because like I said, they try to make life hard for you. Or this is you. That's very fucking controlling. And that's why nobody wants to be around you. Because you feel like you're the only person in the world that, you know, your feelings matter or whatever. I don't know what this is. But fam, that's when you're going to win. You'll be just fine. Trust that, okay? You're going to put somebody else in their place by leaving. And they're going to see that you ain't the problem. is them. Somebody wants to know why they're always alone because you're controlling this fuck. That's why. That's why you will never have nobody. That's why. <laughs> Trying to fucking control somebody and control everything. Yeah. This person interrupts you when you're meditating, when you're praying. You're like, what? They feel like they got life all figured out, but they're very imbalanced. This person don't have no balance. They think they know every damn thing there is to know. 444, I seen, and they're not moving on to anything. This is sleek, sad, because 
you know, um, a person like this, they'll just never get it. They'll never understand that life is not just about you, especially when you're with someone else. You have to be able to compromise with a person. And this person literally wants to wonder why they're alone. You're alone because you're fucking controlling. So maybe you need to be by yourself. You want things done a certain way, be by yourself and stop trying to include other people in your life. Because the people you include in your life, you try to make their life hard. Because of what the fuck you want. That's not how things go. Somebody's being very deceptive of their intentions here. Or we, or this is you. Fan mask, I ain't gonna let nobody control you. You're not gonna let nobody walk over you. None of that shit. You're not gonna do any of that. Like I said, this person gonna always be suffering in silence. Because they're not aware that it's them that's the fucking problem. Not you. Somebody does not understand. Somebody is being treated like a child. You are not a child. And this person does not run your life. This person don't even have control of their own life. And even if they feel like they do, they don't because it's a lonely soul. This person is going to always be alone because they feel like they can control other people. And motherfuckers ain't going for that. You're not going to sit back your whole life, however your life went, since you were a child. You know, you've had a hard time being accepted for who you are. And now that you're comfortable in you, you got a person that feel like they can control you because it's comfortable for them. Girl, fuck you. Boy, fuck you. What is you talking about? And this is exactly why this person is alone. You're going to end up leaving somewhere. You're going to leave just because, like, yeah, bro, nah, I ain't, I'm not dealing with this shit. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not dealing with this. I don't have to be here. I don't got to be with you. I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to do any of that. You don't realize that, but this person doesn't want to let you go. They don't want to detach. They want to work on something, but they don't want to work on themselves. They're unaware. You are a gift to anyone. These kind of energies irritate me because, like, what? why are you so controlling? You want someone around, but then you try to change them. You try to make them be what you want them to be. They need to get comfortable with what you're comfortable with. That shit don't work like that. And if y'all are just so opposite, then you're obviously not meant to be. This is somebody who's gonna be alone for life, period. Because they always complaining about something. All the time. They find some reason to complain to you about something you did is wrong. You never do anything right in this person's eyes, right? And then when you leave and they looking stupid as hell by themselves, then they still can't figure it out that they're the problem. <laughs> Ain't that some? This person may sleep around too to try to fill a void, but that's, that ain't gonna satisfy this person. This person will never be whole because of what's within them. They are controlling. This person needs to be by themselves. If you want things a certain way, why don't you just go through life by yourself, honey? Because everybody's not gonna bow down to you and give a fuck about how you feel about something. You have to be willing to compromise. When you're, when you're dealing with other people. And if you don't agree to something, you can simply say, hey, I don't agree to that. If this person is not willing to compromise, then hey, you just need to remove yourself. Mm. I don't hear this. Fam, don't be letting nobody run over you. Don't you dare settle for any fucking thing. Don't be settling for how somebody gonna treat you. Or tell you how you need to be doing something because it's comfortable for them. No, that shit don't work like that. You 
You have to learn to learn from people. Some people just don't deserve you at all. We. What else is here for divine feminine, divine masculine? This is very sad. This is a control freak. This is somebody who literally needs to be in control of everything. Yeah. 44, 44. Yeah. What else is here that's going to hold the heart? This sweet divine feminine or this masculine. Somebody think they can treat you a certain way because maybe you're in a certain position. You could be living with someone as well. This could be some kind of housing situation or something. Mm. Whatever this is. If somebody is mistreating you, leave. Don't you ever stick around no fucking body that's going to treat you any kind of way. Or make you feel like they control some shit and they don't. I don't care if you do live with somebody, you know, it's boundaries. Especially if you're paying a motherfucker to live there or some shit. Leave. The hell. Because people will use that shit against you. Maybe that you don't have anywhere to go or something. But you do. You do. You do have somewhere to go. The fuck out of there. <laughs> Trust me. Some things I understand that you have to deal with at the moment just because. But whoever you are, you're capable of making money every day. You don't need whatever this is. I feel like God got something better for you anyway. A lot of y'all are very private people. This could be a relationship, business, whatever this is. Somebody's trying to make you... You know, um, dance to the beat of their drum for something that you're being an asset to. This person is benefiting from you. To be honest, that you're not benefiting from this fucking person because you don't even have a peace of mind. Whatever, whatever this is, what, wherever, you don't have a peace of mind. Somebody is very fucking controlling, and that's exactly why they're never gonna have no fucking body. Nobody's going to ever come work here. Nobody's ever going to stay here. Whatever this is. Yeah, like I said, this person is very fucking deceiving. They try to act one way in your face and another behind your back. Every time you walk away, this person doing some lame ass shit behind your back. The simple path. And if you do live with somebody, this person goes through your things when you're not there. Okay. So I feel like you'll be better off on your own. At least you ain't got to worry about, you know, someone losing your shit or taking your stuff or whatever. Yeah, you'll be victorious. You may not even know how. I've seen 13 and 13, but trust me, you'll be just fine. God is good. God will take care of you. These motherfuckers are not God. They get this God complex because you may need their help or something here. You don't need shit from them. Speaking of <clears throat> higher power, you got a new life here. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough, but you'll get through it. Just keep fighting. Keep going. All this shit is temporary. Ain't none of this permanent. Nothing is permanent. Nobody's better than no one else. This is a person who feels like they got their whole life together and they ain't got shit together. This person that can't don't even know what's wrong with them to see why other people don't want to be around them. If you don't, you don't, you won't even take the time out with yourself. Motherfuckers want to date and all that shit, but you don't want to. You don't want to sit back and realize that you are the problem. It's you. Don't nobody care about nobody money. Don't nobody care about what you got. Don't nobody care about that. Who are you? These people don't even know who they are. So they, they trying to make you feel like you're less than or something that you're doing is wrong. No, that's not the case. These people are just never going to be satisfied. Somebody is definitely being treated like a fucking child. I really don't like this. Because like I said, you're an asset. You're beneficial to this person. They're not beneficial to you at all. 
anybody can go sleep with someone. Anybody can date somebody. I mean, anybody can do anything, but that shit ain't genuine. You actually have a good heart. Just breathe. Calm down. You'll be fine. Because wherever this is, you have to clean up a mess before it's made. 15, 15. And that's just removing yourself completely. You got to leg up all the time. Because you're not going to accept just anything. You're not going to accept nobody treating you any kind of fucking way. Like I said, especially when you're paying money or something. When money is involved and shit, no. You're not going to accept that or you shouldn't. Yeah. God is always here. This is a part. God is watching everything. God is watching how people are treating you too. For whatever whatever this is, fam, that's when you know that you may be going through. God watches everything. He sees everything. And God knows when you make a move, it's for your own betterment. And also the betterment of others if other people are involved. You dig girl? Like, you know, You can be trusted. These people can't. They just can't. Don't let nobody run over you. I don't let nobody want to feel like they run you or they own you because they may have something that is there at the time. You got resources. You got you got ways to do things. Don't feel stuck in a situation because you're not stuck. Fork in the road is in reverse. And honestly, a lot of you all are about to be gifted something here too. I feel like you're just going through, you know, whatever it is you're going through. It's something that's being hidden from you. And that's this person's motive, I feel. Somebody has a motive, a vendetta. Or it's just them, you know. But you're, you're not going to allow anyone to treat you horrible. Yeah. You're not, you're not locking in those agreements, arrangements, or nothing like that. You're not putting shit into this. Why? Because somebody is, they're manipulative. They're controlling. You don't want anything to do with that. You don't even have a peace of mind wherever this is. You have no peace here. It's always something that this person is complaining about. So, why would you want to stay here? And if you don't got the courage to leave, I'm telling you to leave. This shit, this this person here will drive you crazy. You need to leave before you say something or do something you're gonna regret. Anything else? Yep. Yeah. You're misjudging the situation. A lot of y'all think you're you're not stuck at all. You're not stuck here. Whatever this is, you're not stuck. If anything, this person may want you to feel that way, but you're not. Something is just not going to work. It's not going to work 18, 18 because it ain't close to. This person is not, they refusing to look at themselves. It's a person who feel like they can't do shit wrong and everything they doing is wrong. <laughs> everything they do is wrong. Hence to why they can't find nobody. Hence to why nobody wants to deal with them. They don't want to look within themselves. Like, bro, no, it's not always you. That's the problem. Sometimes people need to look at their fucking self. Look. They not ever thinking that it's them. They want to blame someone else. You should not involve yourself with other fucking people if you're just picky and you do all that, bitch. Why don't you be by yourself? We need to stop including people in your life and then running them away. And then want to wonder why you ain't got nobody. The fuck? It don't even make any sense. This is just mismanagement is what I heard. Mismanagement. Somebody's doing something completely like just to be an asshole, I feel. This person will always be in despair all the time. They're never going to be happy because this person literally is refusing to look at themselves and what it is that they are doing wrong. They want to blame somebody else. Oh, they did that to me. They did that to me. This is why 
They did this and they did that. Uh, but what did you do? Uh, this is a person that lives off of being a victim. They love being a fucking victim so they can have an excuse to why the fuck they keep running people off. <laughs> why things keep ending in their life. 919. Mm. There go that number again. It keeps coming up. Yeah, like I said, they're refusing. You got the gifts here for him, that's what Somebody is never going to think about others. They're going to always think about themselves. So like I said, don't do shit that involves other people. This is a very manipulative narcissist here. This person is narcissistic. Let's hear from the divine, from the divine masculine. This person also feels like because they may have money or something that they can control so You don't control anything. You can't buy happiness. You can't buy common sense. You sure can't. You can't buy people. I mean, some people can be bought. But, uh, you know. this what, what this person is looking for, they can't buy it. And I feel like you have it. <clears throat> yeah. The four of swords. This person doesn't think of no one but themselves. Like I said. Six of pentacles. It's an equal give and take. That's what it should be. Equal, even exchange. Somebody is not willing to sacrifice that. Yep. Somebody wants to be in love, but don't want to make sacrifices. <clears throat> Seven of Wands, being highly inadequate for something, but in a five of fucking cups. Oh, oh, okay. Then I'm trying to say right here from this one. Oh, this person's in a five of cups. They will never not be in a five of cups because all they do is blame everyone else. Look for a way out by, you know, excusing themselves and blaming everyone else. That's double energy. The queen, queen of wands. This person might even resort to some kind of spell work or something right here, masculine. Y'all better be careful, especially if you're living with a, a, a feminine energy or a masculine. This person try to put some fucking shit in your food or your drink. To try to control you when you are the emperor. The fuck? You're the emperor. You run things. This person runs people away. The fuck? Could be a Virgo here. Aries, Capricorn, Aquila, Gemini. I feel like you're good. This this person doesn't want you to walk away from them, but you are. You're gonna get the fuck on. It's just some things like, honey, you ain't even that serious. My fuck ain't gotta stay around you. I don't know why people get that. They they feel like um. People just want to flock to them because they have money. Motherfuckers do not care about your money. Don't nobody care about your money. It's about balance. It's about peace. Living life. This person don't know what it's like to live. But they swear they got it all. They know every fucking thing. Queen of Swords. You don't tell this person, look, hey, fuck you. <laughs> you definitely... Okay, then you may not physically tell them this, but you're going to tell them with your actions. <laughs> you're going to tell this person with your actions. I hear from masculine. Yeah, Libra energy. Nine of Pentacles, you're better off on your own. Whoever you are, you cannot be controlled. Somebody is trying to control you, treat you like a child. Especially if this is like a woman or a man you're living with. It's like they try to control everything about you. They complain everything, like everything about you. Nothing is good enough for this person. As to why I'm trying to figure out what the hell they want you around for. Ain't got to be a motive. 
it has to be at this point because they 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 want you there, but then they won't compromise. You have to compromise. They don't believe something is wrong with them. They want to make it seem like something's wrong with you. But then when you're gone, they they sitting in their own fucking misery by themselves. Because it's them. The fuck? It's not you, it's them. Anything else here? You gotta forgive people because they don't know. These, these people, they obviously don't fucking know. They don't know. Seriously, say yes, forget these stupid ass fools. Forget these people. I really don't like that controlling ass shit. Somebody always needs to be in control of something. Ask for help from others, okay? I don't know what this could be about family I but you got you got the resources. It's very likely, okay, that you got the resources, I feel. I feel like you don't need to go nowhere but within yourself to find out what you need to know or do. Yep. You 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 need to definitely um yeah, move along because somebody is not willing to compromise. Don't stop, you know, living your life or being who you are and dumbing down and dim, dimming down for someone else's comfort. You don't ever do that. You always remove yourself. It's three yeses here. Don't wait. Look for a fucking sign because I'm telling you, you need to move. You need to move around. Wherever you at, you ain't even supposed to be there anyway. Yeah, because motherfuckers will not compromise. You need to meditate as well. Somebody is just never going to be willing to compromise. So, you know, it's going to take for you to remove yourself. Yeah. It's not the right time. Wherever you are, it's not. you're not supposed to be there. Something is going to fail horribly here. And that's up to you. You can meditate. And find answers within yourself where, you know, you can just stick around and see 27, 27. But I'm telling you, it's not going to work. There is a need to worry. But it's kind of person. Because like I said, they're motivated. It's a motive behind everything they do. And they won't reconsider anything. You need to choose a new direction here. Especially in romance. Whoever this is you're dating or some shit. This, this person is not for you. You need to get more information, in fact, about this person. That's too many. Yeah, you got to be assertive and choose a new direction. I'm just telling you to buy a safe family. Swing. Choose a new direction. Whatever this is, it's not going gonna, 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 gonna to do more harm than good if you stay here. In many different ways, hopefully. Let's see the hidden truth about how this person feels about you. Let me get one of these cards, thank you. Let me get one of these cards. Yeah, I feel my smile. I don't like this person. What's the hidden truth about this person that found that's when they're dealing with? What's the hidden truth about this person? From my son is dealing with. What's the hidden truth, please? I couldn't let you get close to me. This for this person, that's what I'm trying to say. I replay our conversations over and over. Somebody was listening to something that you said, but this this person, they knew exactly what they were doing. They were being irritating as fuck, doing shit out of spite. They were doing this shit on purpose. I am becoming a better person is what they want you to know. Yeah, to who? You need to be a better person to yourself. And you came closer to any you came closer to them than anyone has. This is what I be talking about. These people be doing exactly what they're doing. They be being spiteful and vindictive and shit because they feel like you need them. You don't need anybody.
Give me some energy on this. I couldn't let you get close to me. This person is a fucking controlling ass freak, period. Like I felt, this person feel like because they have money, this, this person may have money or an opportunity or something, and they feel like they can overpower you, but they can't. They cannot do this. You 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 literally this person will always be by themselves all the time because they're not willing to what compromise. Not saying kiss somebody ass, no, like come to a mutual agreement. It can't just be one sided. This person brings a lot of conflict to you, or they will. But you'll be victorious, okay? I'm just trying to tell you the facts every time I swear. I don't like this. I don't like this person you're dealing with. This person's a fucking idiot. A queen. So that's all I got for you, Fem Masculine. Remember, God loves you, so do I.